We're focused on trying to find an effective treatment for a devastating muscle disease called Duchenne muscular dystrophy where boys go into a wheelchair at the age of 12 and usually die in their uh, 20s or 30s. The work that led up to DNA fingerprinting was curiosity driven science. I think we saw literally within five minutes of our very first DNA fingerprint what we'd stumbled upon. I didn't do my scientific work in the hope of winning prizes and medals. I did it because I wanted to understand the universe. The Royal Society has been supporting the work of scientists for over 300 years. Here in the Society's library are kept records of their work, together with virtually every important scientific document that's been published since modern science began. This book for me is one of the most important, the first edition of The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. It sits alongside the works of Isaac Newton, Robert Boyle, Michael Faraday, Francis Crick, Dorothy Hodgkin, Stephen Hawking. As we approach the Society's 350th anniversary in 2010, we have an opportunity to build on the work of these great scientists. The discovery of the electron, the splitting of the atom, the computer, the double helix and the World Wide Web were all the works of Fellows of the Society. But the 350th anniversary is an opportunity to look to the future. Isaac Newton famously wrote to Robert Hooke, If I've seen further, it's by standing on the shoulders of giants. So whilst we're proud of our heritage, we're committed to supporting the current generation of scientists. It's they who continue to build on this great work, finding solutions for the many problems that we and our planet face today. The Royal Society's founders were inspired by Francis Bacon. He believed that discovery should be driven by two imperatives. One is the search for enlightenment, the other is what he called the relief of man's estate. That's even more true in the 21st century. Our sights are set not only on supporting excellent science, but on ensuring that the discoveries made in the coming decades are applied for the benefit of people worldwide. The challenges we face are much more severe than they were 350 years ago. Climate change, water supplies, diminishing biological diversity, and all this against the task of feeding half as many people again by the middle of the century. We really need hard science combined with reaching out to the public for their joining in the enterprise if we're to do well this century. As we prepare for the Society's 350th anniversary, we have an ambitious strategy to support science, engineering and medicine. We have five anniversary goals. To invest in scientific excellence and innovation, to influence policy making, to invigorate science and mathematics education, to inspire greater interest in science, and to increase international scientific links. An important focus for the first goal is to invest in scientific research that has real commercial potential. The Society's major award is the Brian Mercer Award, uh, which came about as a result of a very generous bequest. It uh, funds the recipients to the tune of a quarter of a million pounds. I would say the most exciting uh, moment of my career is receiving the, the Brian Mercer Award for Innovation from the Royal Society. We have invented CO2 and VOC capture technologies. Uh, these technologies have the potential to reduce global warming. It enables us to move forward in terms of the technology. It allows us to commercialization of these novel technologies. The Royal Society Enterprise Fund has just been started, which will be used in a manner of what is referred to as venture philanthropy. But the fund will be then put to work in the universities and the scientific laboratories in the UK to create new ideas, new intellectual property, the new businesses of the future. Expanding research fellowships and supporting women in science is also an important focus for the campaign. 
All the goals I think that the Royal Society have outlined are, are fantastic things to be aiming at for the 350th. Um, I guess kind of celebrating where we are in science compared to 350 years ago, for me the women in science question does stand out. 350 years ago there were very few women in science and it's exciting that science is accessible to more types of scientists, female scientists, scientists of different ages, backgrounds and so on. The society has always been totally independent. This means we have a crucial role to play as science responds to the complex environmental and security problems of the 21st century. Our second anniversary goal is to increase our efforts to influence policy makers. Many of the legislative issues that come before us these days, stem cell research, climate change bill, many others involve technical, scientific and engineering issues. The challenge of environmental care and of climate change is also an opportunity for us, for new markets, for new jobs, for new technologies, for new exports, where companies, universities and social enterprises here in Britain can lead the world. It is really important that there be independent organisations that can draw on really informed people who can speak truth to power about these questions. Everyone needs to think how to meet this challenge. For us at the Royal Society, the imperatives are to refine the science and to encourage innovative technologies for generating and storing carbon-free energy. Thank you. In recent years, there's been a sharp decline in the number of young people studying science and mathematics. This will lead to a critical shortage of scientists and engineers if we do nothing about it. Our third anniversary goal is to invigorate science and mathematics education. Balderstone Technology College in Rochdale recently received a Royal Society grant for their hydroponics project. As a scientist, what I want to be able to do is measure things. And one of the parameters we can use, one of the ways we can measure how healthy plants are, is to say how green are they. The funding from the Royal Society for me was uh, absolutely fantastic. It's allowed not only for us to do some real science, but the project's allowed us to go and take the pupils, go and show them what goes on in universities, go and show, show them what goes on a, in a research lab, and actually get hands-on experience of that. I'm taking the CF reading, it's the amount of nutrient in the water. It says it's 78, that's far too much, it's supposed to be 25. That's grounds. Our fourth anniversary goal is designed to inspire greater interest in scientific discovery in society at large. Governments, policy makers and individuals all have to make choices nowadays that involve science in some way. So whether it's to do with climate change or whether it's to do with do I give my child a vaccination, we're all having to juggle scientific evidence in order to make choices. And so having people feeling comfortable with science and prepared to think about it and talk about it is absolutely crucial. The last, but by no means least, anniversary goal is to encourage greater international scientific links. As science becomes more global, we can't afford to be inward looking. We have to bring together the scientists who are going to be the future leaders in science. It is essential for African scientists to collaborate with our partner in the West so that we can have access to the machines that will allow us to do high quality uh, research. At the Glen Eagles G8 summit, uh, the Prime Minister uh, committed the industrial nations to capacity building in Africa. In order to achieve these ambitious goals, the Royal Society plans to raise £100 million by 2010. Through the generosity of Fellows of the Society, my fellow campaign board members, industry and philanthropists around the world, We've reached 70% of the campaign goal so far. We will need your leadership and involvement to raise the rest and make the Royal Society's 350th anniversary campaign a success. Together, 
we can help push back the frontiers of knowledge and find solutions to the many challenges facing the human race. Please join us.